You want to know what the strongest coffee in the world is? I don't know, but I think I just drank it because, man, I have so much caffeine coursing through my system. I just filmed two karaoke songs, although one of them, the music cut off before it finished, like literally 10 seconds away from the end. So that was depressing. Anyway, so I don't know about you guys, um, but while on this quarantine, I have watched an excessive amount of YouTube videos, um, primarily from Studio C, JK Studios, and Brandon Ferris. And I noticed that Brandon Ferris really likes to just sit in his car and talk to the camera and tell stories. And I thought, huh, you know, that's a good way to spend this quarantine, sit in my car, tell stories to my camera. He also really likes to film himself in his car eating spiders. Lots of spiders, actually. Like, I don't know how many videos he has of him eating spiders, but there's several because people just keep sending him spiders so that he has to film himself eating the spiders. And he's terrified of spiders, as he should be, because they are the tiny little spawns of Satan. Anyway, I'm not going to eat a spider in my car today. You're welcome. So, but I'm going to tell you the story of me eating a giant spider. So Cambodia, I've been there technically three times. Second and third time, they're like two months apart. So sometimes I lump them together into one time, but technically it's been three times. First time I went to Cambodia. Cambodia is a Southeast Asian country. Beautiful, very warm. Outside of the city, you have the province and out in the province, the people, you know, they just, they live off the land. They eat whatever they have. And sometimes that includes bugs. I've read slash been told by people who I guess know what they're talking about. I hope they know what they're talking about. It's on the internet, so it must be true. I guess, you know, eating bugs is supposed to be not terrible for you. Most of them, some of them, slightly nutritious. You know, it's a cultural thing. In their culture, it makes perfect sense for them to eat it. In my culture, living in the United States, it's not, not a thing. You don't do it. But you know, it's just a cultural difference. No one's right, no one's wrong. So my first time in Cambodia, we were in a van driving through the province. We were in this van for several hours. Halfway through, we stopped at a roadside stand where there's these adorable children who all immediately wanted to sell us various kinds of fruits. And they knew they could get us because they're adorable. We didn't fall for it mostly because we really didn't have money. Um, but at this roadside stand, they were also selling a heap, a heap of fried tarantulas to eat. In my group, nobody was quite for that. I was slightly curious, but also knew I was gonna be in this van for several more hours. And should my digestive system disagree with this tarantula? while stuck in a van for several hours with a bunch of people. We were gonna have some problems. So clearly did not eat one. However, there was this one little girl who had a pet tarantula, a pet tarantula that she just walks around carrying like it's a guinea pig or something. So then she goes up to all of us and asks everyone if they want to hold her pet tarantula. And everyone politely said, Oh, except for my one friend, a guy who is so afraid of spiders that he was screaming and hiding behind all of the girls to distance himself as far away from the spider as possible. Then the little girl walks up to me, does not ask me if I want to hold her pet tarantula. She didn't give me a chance to say no. She just went and stuck the tarantula on my stomach. She put a live tarantula on my stomach. So I'm trying to stay calm because I don't want to freak out the spider that's crawling up me now. My friend has a camera, so she's trying to take a picture of me because I'm like, take a picture, take a picture, take take picture, take 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 picture, take picture. Because if this spider's gonna be crawling on me, I want photographic evidence that this happened. So she's trying to take a picture like this, freaking out other friend the guy is hiding behind her screaming because I have a tarantula on me and then the tarantula starts crawling up and that's that's when I was not okay 
I was not okay with this tarantula being on my abdomen. I was even less okay with this tarantula crawling towards my face. So then I looked at the girl and was like, Kiki, take it off. And then she just like scoops it up like it's nothing. It's a kitten. Fun fact, if you want to get to know someone, a new person, make friends with them, don't put a tarantula on them, Karen. Okay? Don't do it. They will not want to be your friend if you just stick a tarantula on them. Anyway, that was the backstory that took me for six minutes, 42 seconds to tell. So, next time I go to Cambodia, technically this is the third time, but whatever. I decided I was going to eat a tarantula. No one in their right minds thinks, oh, I had this traumatic experience with the tarantula last time I was in this country, so I'm going to go and just make it worse. No one does that, except me. You know, some people are very competitive and they try to outdo each other. I'm competitive and try to outdo myself. So I already had the tarantula crawling on me, so now I needed to one-up myself and eat one. I like to think as if it is me showing the tarantula who's boss by eating it. Actually, one of my, my friends went with me and did it too. I'm not really sure why, but she did. I was really glad because then I didn't have to go do it myself by myself. But we had to go find a specific restaurant in the city that had them. So we had to brave the elements to go find this restaurant that served tarantulas. Literally, I mean, it was raining pretty hard, which there was just this huge drought in the country. So it was actually good that it was raining really hard. But so we went to the specific restaurant that had tarantulas and we ordered the tarantulas. And then also because why not? If you're going to go big, go all the way, man. So we ordered tarantulas, crickets, and buffalo meat. So they bring us our delicacies and there's three, three tarantulas like this big. Hairy, fried, definitely dead, but still terrifying. You know, we got this little like sauce dish where you can, you put like pepper and salt and you squeeze in the lemon juice, mix it all together. This, it's pretty good. So I went first, videoed the whole thing, of course. I mean, if I was going to do it, I had to video it. I went first and had to like, I had to have my friend give me pe pep talk. I had to pep talk myself. And then as I shakingly held this tarantula on a fork, I gave a war cry and went, ah! And then shoved it in my mouth and started going. Kah, 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 kah. The only good way I can describe it is like when you get pieces of popcorn chicken that have the meat in it, but it's mostly the crunchy stuff around the outside of the meat that you have. And so it's just really crunchy with a little bit of meat. That's what it was like. It really didn't taste bad. It's just that it was so super chewy and took forever to chew. Forever. Name that movie. But you know, it really wasn't that bad. But definitely I just wanted to eat one. I was done after that. And then when my friend ate it, she's like, okay, but like, it's got fur. And I said, yeah, but you know what? Peaches have per fur. Peaches have fur and we eat those right? So it's just popcorn chicken with peach fuzz. And then we ate the crickets, which were smaller and much easier to chew, but tasted a whole lot worse. Don't eat crickets. Just don't do it. Buffalo meat. It was good. Anyway, so there's two of us. They brought us three tarantulas. Neither of us were in the mood to eat another one, but we also didn't want to just get rid of the third tarantula. So we took it with us in a to-go box. It was dinner time. The rest of our friends were already at a different restaurant to get dinner. We really didn't eat enough to consider it dinner. So we went, ordered something too, had our to-go box, and they said, uh, did you bring a tarantula with you to go? My friend is sly. She said, yeah, because we wanted to eat more tarantula later. Very sarcastically. So everyone assumed that she was just being sarcastic. But really, we did bring the third tarantula. 
but we were saving it to prank people at breakfast the next day at the hotel. So I was sharing a room with our team leader whom I did not tell what was in this to-go box because I didn't want her to know that there was a tarantula in our hotel refrigerator overnight. It was dead. It's not like it was going to crawl out or anything, but still. So then the next morning at breakfast, I bring the to-go box down, eat my breakfast, wait for my teammates to come down. One teammate sits by himself, has his phone sitting on the table. Another teammate is across from me, video chatting with his dad. Friend leaves his phone on the table, goes to get second or third or fourth. I don't know. Kid eats a lot of food. And I very quickly got the tarantula out of the to-go box, rushed over, put it on his phone, and went back to my table and just waited. And he came back, didn't sit down, just stood there staring, holding this plate of food saying, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Get that off my phone. And I was like, it's dead. It ain't gonna hurt you. And he said, I don't care if it's plastic. Get it off my phone. Well, then my other friend who's video chatting his dad is trying to explain to his dad what is happening in the background, why I have a tarantula. Then his dad has said, oh, I want to see the tarantula. So then I'm showing the tarantula to him. Showing the tarantula now to all of my team because they're all down there like, what are you doing? So I'm like, oh yeah, it's a little guy. Just walk around carrying it. And then I turn around and this poor other inhabitant of the hotel who does not know me or anyone on this team is sitting there trying to eat his breakfast and is very perplexed because I'm walking around with a tarantula in my hand. So I turn around and he's got food on his fork but can't bring it to his mouth and it's just like staring at me bewildered so then I turned around and I said it's dead it's definitely definitely dead don't worry he's like okay then some of my teammates decided that they wanted to try eating this leftover tarantula's legs which they equated to the crunchiness of a cheeto a fuzzy Cheeto. And then we eventually threw it away. But yeah, I ate a tarantula. It was a wasp. I ain't gonna eat that wasp. That's that's the story. I ate a tarantula on purpose. There's a wasp. Uh, it's right outside my door. I hate wasps. I hate spiders too. But I ate it. I did it. It happened. I slayed the beast. And I lived to tell the tale. I don't know if I would recommend it. I would recommend eating tarantula over eating crickets because crickets taste disgusting. I challenged myself and I then did it. I did the challenge that I set for myself. Faced my fears. Now if you put another live tarantula on my abdomen, Karen, we will not be okay. Anyway, so that was story time in my car. I just killed... 16 minutes and 30 seconds of my quarantine time. Hopefully it will be slightly less than that after I edit this video. So you don't have to sit here for 16 and a half minutes listening to me talk about spiders. <laughs>